We wanted to start a, a fun program to be able to get back to the community whenever we can. Um, so we started at the beginning of the year here and uh, our first partnership was we wanted to partner up with uh, local law enforcement. Bad Does Good, a new program put on by Bad Habit Brewing in St. Joseph, is supporting the police department through its beer sales. So what we're going to do is just take a certain amount of the sales and buy them something that they need. The department is in need of some training equipment. Defensive training mats because we have to we have to train regularly in defensive tactics. With the new government center to be finished next month, the department will soon have their own training space. Our current building just did not have space to be able to use rooms to have training. Now that we have the space, the room we're in now is a multi-purpose room, which uh, I don't know the exact dimensions, but it should fit about 100 people. Chief Klein says the department is gracious for any donation and by no means does a donation get someone special privileges. It's not a bribe saying, okay, well, we give you this as long as this happens. I don't work that way. The department is looking to get 10 to 12 mats. In order to raise enough money to buy them, the brewery collaborated with John Ludwig, a home brewer, to develop Lud's Robust Porter. I gave him my recipe and then he took the recipe and adapted it from five gallon to 165 gallon. 10 kegs of the porter were brewed. Roughly $120 of sales per keg will go towards the mats. And when the beer is all gone. Once the program's all done, the beer sales are all done, um, we'll, we'll go ahead and buy those mats and then we'll donate them to the police department. Chrissy Getke, WJON.